Hey everyone, Leah here. So today I want to talk to you about objections. And the most important thing to remember about objections is not to take them personally. That just because someone said no that they don't want to be a part of your challenge or be on your team does not mean, number one, that it's a pers you know personal, and number two, that it's forever. Um, a lot of times people will come back. I've had people come back a year later and decide that they want to be a part of my challenge group and I welcome them with open arms even if it's been a year since I I invited them or even since they completely ignored my message. Um, so just remember that even though someone says no right now, it may not be the right time and don't give up on them. I would still follow up and still try to invite them. You know, I would ask, you, okay, well, it's not the right time. Is it okay if I um, check back with you in another who knows, you know, 30 days, two months, whatever you feel is appropriate. And depending on what they said their objection was. And so I'll check back with them and it may still not be the right time, but they know that you haven't given up on them and you actually care about their health and their goals. So that's kind of what we are doing with our follow-up process, showing people that we care by it, by them telling us an objection and then we just kind of wash our hands of it. Um, it hurts our credibility a little bit. So I always try to go back and try to follow up with people that I've spoken to in the past and check back on them every so often. Uh, and as far as the most common objections, I would say that the most common objections probably are price. I cannot afford it. Um, and also I don't have enough time. So I think that all objections stem from a lack of belief, belief in themselves. Uh, people have, may have tried other things in the past that may not have worked for them. Um, they may have been struggling with their weight their entire life and they just don't think that they can stick with something. But obviously our pro products and our programs work. I mean, I know for 150% fact that these products and programs work. So it is my job to combat that objection by number one, being proof the products work. Number two, showing up on my social media and showing people that work by sharing before and after, success stories, and just um, show, sharing my journey. Um, on my on my page and number two is people don't see it as a priority so I guarantee that if it was a priority for them whether it's time or money um, or a financial pr priority uh, they would make time for it because we all know we make time for what we care about I guarantee that people make time to watch their favorite show to um, pay for their hair appointment so what I'll do a lot of times is I'll ask them. I'll ask them a question when I get an objection. So if they say, I cannot afford it, I say, uh, I can't afford it and it's just too expensive, then I'll ask, well, it's, so it's too expensive compared to what? What are you comparing it to? Because, uh, and they'll say, well, I don't know. And I'm like, like maybe compared to a hair appointment, um, you know, getting your hair done, we all know it's like $200. And most people will and have paid that. So this is someone's health and well-being. This is a life-changing opportunity. And I feel like $160 is not a lot for the opportunity that we provide and the change that we can give someone if they're willing. So um, I welcome the price objection. I think it's my favorite objection because I also have a story when I first started. I didn't have... Um, I didn't have a nine to five job. So I initially, when I heard the price point, I was like, well, that's scary. Um, I didn't have extra money just to be throwing around on this random stuff. And so I was, it was going around in my head, but I knew, I knew I was desperate. I needed to change. I trusted my coach cause she showed up and I saw her results. And so I decided to do it. I had no other choice and I gave it my all and it worked. So it's really important to talk about um, what is it? The felt, feel, feel, felt, something. So ha basically what I mean is how do you relate? So how you felt and how you feel now because of Beachbody. So basically connecting with them and sharing how you had the same feelings or another coach on your team had the same feelings or even whether, um, even a challenger had the same feelings. Like I get what you're saying, um, that you think it's too expensive but I would really urge you to do this because you told me that you want to lose 75 pounds and I have lost you know X amount 96 pounds and I know this works if you will have a little bit of faith in me as your coach and in these products and programs I will hold you accountable and as long as you show up 
every day, you will get some amazing results. So um, another way is to combat objections through your social media. So like I said, those are the two most common objections, but there's tons of other objections. Um, you're gonna have a little mini assignment based on that here in a few, but combat those objections before you even get them on social media. So you're basically answering people's questions on your social, me social media page. Um, so for instance, uh, the price objection. So I post about what I used to spend on um, alcohol, cigarettes, um, energy drinks, and medications, doctor visits. It could be a million things under the sun. Or maybe you paid for um, you know, daycare or gym memberships or whatever, what, whatever it is that you're now or you're going to save money on because of Beachbody, um, you can do a post about that and people see, oh, okay, wow, well, I guess it really, you know, I can save some money by living a healthier lifestyle. Or for instance, the time objection, you can talk about how you squeezed in your workout. Um, you decided that it's so important to you that you're going to get up 30 minutes earlier to start your day 30 minutes earlier. Um, that would be another idea of a post to battle an objection. Uh, there are so many ways you can go about it, but you get the idea of basically addressing objections before they even have a chance to come to light in um, like one-on-one -on -one conversations. So uh, that's my tips on objections. Um, I welcome objections. I do not get, you know, I, I do not take them personally. It is definitely a bummer when people ignore you and things like that, but I know that it has nothing to do with me, that it has everything to do with them and where they're at on their journey. So we cannot control what they say when they decide to join our challenge group. All we can control is our actions. And if we know that number one, we're being a proud of the product, number two, we're showing up every single day on our social media, and um, in, we're just a walking billboard, I feel confident in the fact that I am doing everything and also inviting. I feel confident that I am doing everything that I can in order to earn the trust of the people on my social media. So they should have no problem um, joining me in my challenge group and in my, um, you know, on my team. So um, as long as we're showing up, then a lot of those objections should really take care of themselves. Because if you're showing up every day and doing everything you're doing, you're getting results, which means what? You're proof that this works. Um, and number two, you're showing up on your social media. That means that you're passionate about it. They see you doing it every single day. They know that you're doing it and you're not just trying to pull one over on them. So um, I hope that helps you guys. And um, so for today's assignment, I want you guys to post an objection, maybe that was in your own head or that you have heard, post an objection um, down in the comments and let's try to come up with some creative um, solutions for them because that is basically what this is. Um, we hear what they're saying and you know I'm not saying this is the right time for everybody but we hear what they're saying what their objection is and we try to offer them a solution or educate or offer them something whether it's okay maybe you cannot do the challenge pack right now but you can do my my clean week group, which is only $30. Or you can, why don't you give this free trial a shot? And then if maybe it's something you might want to stick with, you can at least get the workout so you can get moving um, for $38.87 for the three-month trial. So there's so many options. Um, and whether or not they decide to join your challenge group or to join your team, you can also ask them for referrals. You can say, hey, so I know this might not be the right time for you maybe you're you know you can't afford it or whatever their objection was do you know anyone who might want to join my challenge group or do you know anyone that is trying to live a healthier lifestyle or lose weight um, and then hopefully they'll give you some names so that's my thoughts on objection and um, you guys have a good night